the music industry is competitive. You've got managers, you've got labels, you've got marketing agencies, you've got the artists themselves all fighting for the fans' attention. And with over 60,000 tracks uploaded to Spotify every single day, the industry is oversaturated with music. As a digital marketing agency ourselves, we work with the likes of Warner Music, Universal Music, Ultra Music, as well as independent artists. And we have had to start thinking outside the box. We've had to start being creative. And we are now fully a digital marketing agency because digital marketing has taken over the music industry. It's changed it drastically. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna talk about what digital marketing is, why it's so important in the music industry, and how you can use it to break as an artist and get the results that you deserve. You might be thinking, I don't even know what digital marketing is. In basic form, it is promoting to the potential customer using the internet or other forms of digital communication. So social media, web advertising, email marketing. And in the music industry case, the potential customer is the fan. And because social media is used by such a huge amount of the population now, digital marketing is quite obviously the best way to market an artist. But the most important thing to ask is why and how, and I'm gonna answer that today. So you have to stick around to the end to actually hear about how you can take advantage of it. But first of all, you need a bit of context. So there are four ways that we're using digital marketing in the music industry now. First one, live streaming. And this has taken off in the past couple of years because when COVID hit, we were using it as a replacement for live events. But over time, I think the whole industry has seen that it can actually benefit the artist, but also benefit the fan quite a lot. It's benefiting the artist because they can perform to a large amount of people and they can still make decent money. It benefits the fans because they can watch a gig from home or watch a gig that they thought they never could possibly go to before because it's across the globe. Established artists are really smashing this at the moment because they are doing full arena tours, but they're all live streaming it. And in the future, we might see this hit the metaverse more, we might see VR, but for now, it's doing a fantastic job of bringing the artist with the fan. The next way we're using digital marketing in the music industry is through fan engagement. This is pretty self-explanatory. You've got DMs, you've got stories, you've got comments, you've got sending voice notes. It's any way that you're engaging with the fan. And this is now easier than ever thanks to social media. If anything, we're seeing fans have a closer relationship with the artist, which I don't think many people predicted because there are more artists than ever. And so the fan doesn't really have to be a super fan anymore. They can choose from tons of artists, but because so many artists are engaging with their fans, they're being real with them, we are seeing super fans. We are seeing fan engagement working effectively. This is probably one of my favorite ways that artists are using social media to really connect with their audience and actually get new fans because it's word of mouth. It may be digital, but it's still digital word of mouth. The next way digital marketing is hitting the music industry is content distribution. This is brand awareness. Content distribution but to put it simply, is putting content online. So this is uploading to Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, because text can also be content. You're telling a story, it's brand awareness, and there's no gatekeeper anymore. No one is stopping you from putting an Instagram post up. There is no gatekeeper that's stopping you from uploading a TikTok. So every artist has an equal chance. The final way that digital marketing is benefiting artists and benefiting the music industry is through social media advertising. And if you are subscribed to our YouTube channel, you will know that we are massive nerds for this stuff. And our business is based on social media ads. We break artists from social media advertising. We give you a lot of our tips, obviously not all of them because keeping some of them to ourselves, but if you want to learn more about social media ads, definitely subscribe to the channel. Ads are just incredible because you can pay to reach your target audience. You can see your potential fan and hit them in the face with content. Whether that is a music video, the song itself, Instagram stories, whatever you want to put in front of them. And if you aren't using social media ads, I highly, highly recommend you start. So those are the four ways that digital marketing is impacting the music industry, but how can you use them effectively? Well, I think a really important thing to think about is the order of these things. Because if you have not released a song yet and you have no audience and you're like, Maddie, you are right, live streaming is great. I'm gonna start live streaming on Instagram right now. No one will watch you, Steve. They're not gonna discover you and they're not gonna watch it because they're not invested. 
So you have to think about the order. First up, I would focus on content distribution because this is brand awareness. This is you creating your brand and putting it in front of your audience and your target audience. So this means putting content out on all socials. And remember, it doesn't have to all be unique. You can have TikToks that you upload to Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. You can tweet things that you also put on your Instagram story. There, there is the chance to sort of have a crossover. Also, if there's no one there at the beginning, which most probably there won't be, just put stuff out, don't overthink it. Once you've done this, then you can start using social media ads. There is no point having ads pushing people somewhere that isn't populated. That's like pushing people to a website that doesn't have any products on it. It's completely pointless. So make sure you are doing content distribution first and then you can focus focus on those ads. Right now, I would say our personal favorite ads are Instagram stories and TikTok ads. People aren't taking advantage of TikTok ads at all. They're super cheap. They're super well targeted as well. You have quite a lot of options. And if you want to see a full video on TikTok ads, please let me know in the comments and we will definitely be doing one of those. Next up, I would suggest doing the live streaming if you have the audience and if you don't really have the ability to talk. So I do think that touring is better than live streaming. That personal connection you can have with the audience is always going to be stronger than through a device. However, live streaming, and this also includes doing like Instagram lives that are Q and A's and things, they can be really beneficial. I think it's kind of under the umbrella of fan engagement when you're talking about doing Q and A's and things, but definitely live streaming can be beneficial. And one little tip that I have for live streaming is use Reddit. No artists are talking about this. Reddit live can be incredible. The views are quick. People can donate sort of like on Twitch. It's just a platform that people aren't taking advantage of. Finally, fan engagement. I think this should be happening from day one. So this isn't even in the list. This is just constantly. The minute you get a follower, drop them a DM thanking them. Send voice notes on DM. You have the time if you don't have a huge audience yet. Put out stories that are personal and not just a picture of your cat. Reply to every single comment you get because that's also going to help with the Instagram algorithm, the TikTok algorithm. If you're bringing people back to a platform, they are going to reward you for that. Fan engagement is key. So that's how you can be using digital marketing to benefit yourself, benefit your music, get more fans. I kind of wanted to finish it off with how is this actually sort of changing the music industry? You may be thinking, yeah, these are all positive things, but I'm not really seeing the industry change that much. That's why you're wrong. There has been huge changes over the past couple of years because of digital marketing. Well, for one, because of content distribution, an artist can break from their bedroom with zero budget. TikTok is a prime example of this. Post a TikTok, go viral. Someone starts using that audio. Next thing you know, your song is trending on TikTok. It's getting millions of streams due to this and it's in the charts. Listen to the charts right now and more than 50%, I'd say, are TikTok viral songs. Or the complete opposite. Artists can pay to reach the right audience, so they can pay to break. And I wanted to make this point second because I think a lot of people think it's unfair, but because you can break completely organically now, you can also pay to break as well, so there are options and there is a chance for everyone no matter what financial position you're in. Another way this is hugely impacting the music industry is social presence is having an impact. So your social media following could be why you get signed to a major label. Major labels are signing TikTok stars before they've even released music now. So digital marketing is kind of changing the way that A&Rs work and how labels work. And I'd love to know in the comments whether you think this is a negative thing or a positive thing, because I know a lot of artists are massively anti it, but there are plenty that are seeing that as a great thing because they are doing fantastically on social media. The final way I think it is really impacting the music industry is you have to use it. I don't know of any artist in the past couple of years that has broken without digital marketing behind them. So they've either done well on social media, they've blown up on TikTok, they've had someone running ads for them, they are growing an audience on Instagram. There's always some sort of digital marketing behind the artist to get them to the place they are at. And for me, I see that as a massive positive because I'm a massive marketing nerd and I'm working in that 24 seven. But what do you think? Do you think that's a good thing? Do you think that an artist can break without digital marketing? Let me know in the comments. Bit of a different video today. It's sort of more an opinion piece. So if you enjoyed it, do let me know. If you didn't, also let me know and I will see you in the next one.